everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I was watching a couple of live streams, and I was just about ready to sit down and do my video, and my husband says, um, didn't Bob go live tonight? And I go, oh, I forgot all about it. Well, you know what? I got to show you. Isn't he adorable? I just got done watching Bob, and this is what shows up on my, I put him on my television. That's where I, I Chromecast you. I, I put you on the TV so you're on my screen that I can really see and hear. I can turn the volume up real loud so I can really hear you. Um, so that's what I just did. Well, that's what I just did. And now it's time for me to make my video. Today I'm going to show you, there's going to be a little section where I'm actually making my cranberry sauce for Thanksgiving. It's not a keto dish. It has sugar in it, but I'm, I made it because my kids all look forward to it. And it's one that you don't have to cook. In fact, it's in the refrigerator right now, marinating itself so that it can, those flavors can all blend. So I will put that video in. It'll be in the end of this one. So that if you want to watch it, you watch it. If you don't, you can say goodbye when I say goodbye. But um, let me think, what do I want to talk about today? There's, I don't really have anything. Today was a really quiet day, so I won't keep you. Let's just go to the video, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. It's time to make my cranberry sauce. So I wanted to show you that I, no, it's all right, Jim, I'll do it. Um, I just wanted to show you how I close up my box. I store everything in the box. You want to open it? You can open it. And it's just a twist tie that, so that my, my stuff will stay. I store everything in the box. I like it in the box, even though we've had it forever. Okay, and there it is. Okay, you can pull it out. And this is what we make the cranberry sauce with. Yep, or getting my kitchen, it's a mess. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, to make the cranberry um, sauce that I make, it's not keto-friendly, so this is something that my mother used to make, and we made it for many, many years. What you're going to need is sugar, oranges, apples, cranberries. I use a cup and a spoon, and then I have the the orange peelers from Tupperware and I use this now I used to use a, a meat grinder but my my um, my, my mixer died and so I don't use that anymore so I just use this now and then a big bowl to put it in because you're gonna mix it the recipe for the cranberry sauce that my mom would make it's a no cook cranberry sauce you just mix it stir it and put it in the refrigerator and it, and it marinates the flavors. But what you need is one bag of cranberries, two oranges, three apples, and then it would be four cups of sugar. And you taste it because if your oranges and apples are really sweet, you may not need four cups. You might need three, you might need two. So I taste it after two, and then I taste it after three, and if I need two, I add the fourth. But that's how you do it. So it's a one, two, three, four recipe. Really easy. When I peel the oranges, because I have the um, Tupperware thing, you would just it just scores the orange. It's really, it's actually kind of nice, and it just follows the orange around. And because I don't like to get orange under my nails. I use a spoon. So then I will take the spoon and just slide it and and it pulls the skin off. Because I really don't like getting it under my nails. So you can slide it underneath. How much of the white pith do you remove? I don't remove any of it. It's okay. A lot Does it of, help add to the flavor? Eh, I don't know. It's just good for you. If you eat the pith, it's not bitter. 
Well, you know, some people might think it's bitter. Well, I'll take a little bit off, only because I'm taking this part out. And then when you separate it, if if you get loose pieces like this, yeah, take them off if you want to, but you don't have to. And then I separate them all out. And then we'll drop them into the machine when we're done. I guess that's taken off a little bit of the white. Hmm? I, don't t I don't worry about it. If it's there, it's there. If it's not, it's not. It's not going to hurt it. And then this one, I could probably split it. Okay, I guess it took quite a bit of the pith off, but it's not necessary. It just, because I'm pulling it apart, and if it's there in the way, I just take it off. And you try to buy the ones that don't have seeds. These were, these were not juice. If you buy juice oranges, you'll have to take the seeds out. If you buy um, navel oranges, chances are there should be no seeds. These are... Apparently navel, because there's no seed. Don't know what they were. Nope, doesn't have the navel. But these were lucky. Wow. They're just an orange from all. Oh, ouch! I got a cut on my finger. I can feel it burn. If you've got cuts, you'll feel them. It hurts. But anyways, that's what you do, and then you'll cut up the apple. Yeah, they're navels. They're navels. <coughs> they don't have the little navel thing in it. Oh, my finger is burning. It's really burning. I'm going to get a paring knife. I got to wash these off. You would wash off the apples because you never know what they have on them. You, oh, my finger burns. I am a burning. Okay. And then for the apple, you don't peel it. This one was a bruised one, so it's going to have a bad spot on it. And because I don't like to waste a lot of apple, I use a paring knife. Some people use an apple core thing, but just make sure you get the core out, that little hard thing. And if there's any bad spot, you can cut that off. throw them out. No, don't throw those out. Whoa. Normally I work everything into the bowl, not onto the table. But I didn't do that. Oh, my finger. It There's a little cut in here somewhere. I can feel it. I didn't feel it when I removed the polish. It's weird. Okay. Alrighty. And then after that's done, oh, we um, start pouring i got to open these up. That's all right. I can, I can lift it, I guess. Oh, the scissors are easier. <laughs> well, those are handy. Yep. And we pour some of them in. I don't want to do it. I just, <laughs> ouch. Jim usually pours and I just kind of cut. Okay, we have to turn it on so it starts. It's going to be Okay, there's one bag, one apple. I'm not done. I've got to add more apple and oranges. But anyways, you would keep doing this until you're, you've got everything in there, and then you dump it into the bowl, and then add your sugar. 
Okay, now we're going to dump it into the bowl and um, add our sugar. Because we don't have sugar in the house, I have to buy sugar special for this. And when you open it, sometimes there's sugar granules. I don't want them on the counter. And I guess that one goes all right. And I like my tops turned down. Why do I do that? I don't want it to fall between the two layers. And my mother used to do it, so I guess I just follow suit. Makes it neater. Yeah, it does. There we go. Okay. And now, the joy of sweetness. This is not keto. Definitely not. Oh, there's a lump in there. But it won't go. Oh, there's another lump. Oh, my. They're soft lumps. But yeah. It works. Well, it's good that it's not good that it's not hard because sometimes they're hard because we don't use the sugar. There's one. Oh my stars. I'm going to add two and then see how it is after a little bit. Two. I'm only ha adding half of what you're supposed to. Those of you that are eating sugar will probably want more. The reason I make it now, like today is only Sunday, I like it to marinate and be, um... The longer it can sit and marinate, the better it is. The, yeah, it's, the sugar will dissolve and it will be better. So you don't want to, don't want to over sugar it right away because you may not even need it. Let the sugar kind of dissolve. And this is a cold thing, you don't, you don't cook it at all. That's something, you know, when I see people bang things, you know what it reminds me of? If it's on metal, it's okay. If it's on glass, I always worry because you could chip glass into your stuff and not know you're chipping a little bit of glass in. I, I'll take a taste. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to stir it again with this spoon. I'll take a taste. Mm, it's sweet enough. Mm, delish. Mm. Supposed to show I don't do eat sugar. <laughs> that is really good. We're just gonna leave it like. Okay, this is the end. Now we'll scrape the container clean. You don't want to leave anything in it. It's another thing with baking and and cooking shows. They always leave so much in the in the bowls. I guess because we're too frugal. We are very frugal. We hate to waste anything. I guess that's about as good as we're going to get it. I'm hoping. <laughs> Always a damn more. It looks like, oh, maybe I could get that too. Yep, I can. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Now you can wash it if you like. And here you can have this too. All right, now I better add another little bit of sugar because I added actually an extra bag of cranberry sauce, cranberries in there. I've only added two cups of sugar so far. I'm going to add another two cups. For us it would probably be plenty, but for the grandkids. Know. I might have to add more, but I'll give them last year. That'll be, that'll be really sweet because it had the full amount in it. There's another two cups. Let's stir this in. This bowl is huge. So I've used, actually, I've used four bags of cranberries in here. I've used two, four, six oranges, and three, six, and nine apples. That's what I've used. Now I've done, I did an extra bag of 
cranberries. Normally you wouldn't do that extra bag, but as long as I had it, I put it in. And then I added four cups of sugar so far. We'll see what it what it tastes like. I gotta stir it in first. And as as it rests, the sugar will dissolve and it will get sweeter. So you don't want to overdo it. If it tastes sweet to you now then don't put any more sugar in because by the time the sugar granules actually dissolve it will be sweet if it tastes sour then yeah you add more we'll taste again i say it's sweet enough mm -mm -mm. that's so good okay now it's done i will just put a plastic wrap on the top, put it in the refrigerator, and when it gets to the day, I will put some in a bowl. Oops, I gotta move that box over a little this way. Thank you. Okay. And there we are, into the refrigerator this will go. Thank you. All right. 